the shoulder workout is going to be nasty. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through my shoulder workout. That's right. I haven't done a shoulder workout for you guys in a while. This is my new shoulder workout, uh, part of my 12 week program that I'm using to get ready for my Spartan race in October 22nd. I'm chasing that trifecta. Ah, I'm a little pumped right now, if you can't tell. Today was my first day back at work. I am a SPED teacher. I'm excited about this year. The reason why is because we got a new principal and this principal is a great leader, which is exactly what the school needs. So I'm excited to see what this next year looks like for my school, for my job. But enough about that. Let's get into the shoulders because that's the whole reason you guys probably clicked on this video because you want to get those massive Goldberg Tom Hardy shoulders from Warrior. If you haven't seen Warrior, Tom Hardy literally walks around like this the entire, he's huge, he just wants to punch people in the face. So that's the goal for today's workout is to get Goldberg traps, Tom Hardy shoulders. So let's get into it. All right, now this workout is all geared towards obviously strength. There's a lot of volume because it is prepping me for the race. And then I want to sculpt my shoulders. I want them to look a certain way. I want my traps to look a certain way. I want to have that round full look come race day. So. First up, you, you will notice I keep it very simple. I'm doing dumbbell press, dumbbell shoulder press. Four sets, 12, 10, 10, eight. Obviously you guys know I love that combo. I will be pyramid, pyramiding up in weight, so I increase each set. The last set, shout out to Seth Ferrosi. He came up with this, this is not my credit. I'm giving him credit, one of the people that I look up to. My last set of eight, whatever weight I have on that. So say I have 60 pound dumbbells. As soon as I'm done with that eight, I'm gonna cut it in half. For those of you math wizards out there, that'd be 30 pounds. Whatever I do here, so eight pounds, my next set of, with 30 pounds, I gotta do double. So for you math wizards out there, that's 16. So if I have 60s, I'm gonna cut the weight in half, and I'm gonna do double whatever I get here. Now I have eight here, but if I'm feeling it, I may just go to failure. That's the goal. This is not written in stone, you guys know how I do my program. For this one, everything is a minute rest in between, okay? Rest time plays a big factor when it comes to your programming. So I'm doing a one minute rest in between each set. As soon as I'm done with the dumbbell press, I'm going into dumbbell flies. Now these side flies are gonna be kinda heavy, okay? So I'm pyramiding up each set. I'm gonna go four sets, again, 12, 10, 10, eight. I'm increasing each set. Depending on how I feel here, I might do a drop set. So what I may do is whatever weight I start with, I'm gonna do my eight, grab this weight, the, set, the weight that I use for 12, and then just do as many, much as I can. My next exercise, barbell press, barbell shoulder press. Four, 12, 10, 10, eight. I keep it very simple. I don't overthink things. I like this programming. Now, there's a, there's a point to this. These first, three exercises. What I'm doing is they're all basically the heavy lifting. They're the strength portion of it. The way I like to think of it is my first exercises are all geared towards strength and putting on size and developing the muscle, okay, with a lot of volume. As soon as I know with these three sets, then I'm going to jump into an FST7. Again, I explained that in my last video, so I'm not really going to touch on that. For this one, it's a super set. I'm going to do rear flies. I've been focusing a lot on the back portion of my shoulder because what I've noticed I'm overly developed in the front which most people are because of bench press and they just target it because they could see it but I want to target the back so you'll see when I'm doing these rear flies I'm literally targeting this little muscle back here that no one ever sees and everybody neglects rear flies I'm gonna do seven sets of ten again it's the same progress or same process as I did on my uh, chest and back workout I'm doing rear flies immediately into face pulls. I'm doing seven sets, I'm gonna superset. So I go rear flies for 10, immediately into face pulls for 10. This one, 
is only a 30 second rest in between. Again, I'm trying to pump a lot of blood to there and work the muscle while it's fatigued. So I'm not resting for a full minute. Once I'm done with that, now this last portion, these three, I like to think of these three exercises as exercises I'm shaping the muscle. Here I was developing it and strengthening it. Now, since it's fatigued, I want to shape it. I want it to look a certain way. I want it to fill out. So for this one, I'm doing upright rows, three sets of 10 to 12. I'm supersetting that with shrugs. You could use dumbbells or you could use barbell. It's all preference. I'll probably use dumbbells for this one. And then you're going to do as many reps as possible. So I'm going to do upright row, a set, 10 to 12, immediately into shrugs for as many reps as I can. You want to do it. You don't want to do a weight that you're going to get like 50 reps. You want to do a weight that is anywhere between like 12, 15, possibly 20, depending on how I feel. Some people do sh heavy shoulder shrugs. I like to do a little bit lighter weight and really work on the contraction and actually get like the squeeze. Next set, I'm going to do front flies, front flies, dumbbells. I'm doing three sets of 12 to 15. And then my finisher, to finish it off, I'm gonna do side cable flies. Three sets of 20, higher reps. Again, all I'm doing is really trying to pump as much blood as I can into the muscle at the end of it, obviously as I'm fatigued. So that's it guys, that's the shoulder workout, very simple. Again, it's very similar to my chest and back workout, which you guys will see as I go through this next 12 weeks. All my programming, depending on the day, looks very similar to this. Basically the strength portion at the beginning, you got FST7 somewhere in there, and you got the shaping of the muscle at the end. A lot of volume, because obviously it's to prep for this obstacle course so that I'm not fatigued while I'm running a half marathon. But that's it. I'm already drained my pre-workout. I'm feeling pretty good. It's about 4.06, a little bit later than I would like, but it's because it's my first day back at work. So we're going to kick off the shoulder workout. I will take you guys through it, so stay tuned in 3, 2, 1. So for my face pulls, I don't do the traditional that most people do a cable and pull to their face. I like to do the barbell face pulls. Now, when you do these, it's not a traditional row where you're bringing it to your belly button and you're throwing it back. You really want to focus, and as you're doing it, you're, the bar's extended. And as it's extended, think about pulling back and only engaging this back neglected shoulder part. Again, that's why I'm doing the FST7 for this. My rear delt, I don't even know if that's actually the muscle. Anyway, this part of my shoulder, I never really develop it. So I'm supersetting it again. And on the flies, as I'm pulling it back, you don't want to use a lot of your lat or your, your back, your upper back. So I go lighter weight and that way I don't have to engage my 
my bigger muscles and I'm really just trying to target, if you could see it, this little guy right here. There's a little muscle back here that as I'm doing it, I think you guys can see that. You're just trying to engage that. If you come all the way back, you see the whole back is engaged. You don't want the whole back engaged. You're just bringing it back up to about there. Once you feel it, you drop the weight. So go lighter weight, don't go over super heavy on this. Check your ego at the door. Trust me, seven sets of 10, you're gonna feel it when you superset. All right, so that wraps up today's shoulder workout, which means you guys got two workouts from my current 12-week split. You got the chest and back, which I do on Saturdays, and then you got the shoulders, which I do on Thursdays. So you guys will, within like four weeks, have my entire six-day program. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I am posting every morning what I'm doing cardio-wise, how many miles I'm running, whether I'm doing my core circuit or not. Also what my afternoon, my PM session looks like. So today, obviously this video is taking place during my PM session. So Thursdays I got uh, cardio in the morning and then shoulders at night. Very simple shoulder workout. Again, there's a lot of volume. The first part is all about strength. The second part is all about sculpting and getting that look. Again, that is what my program is about because I'm trying to prepare for an obstacle course, which I'm hoping the volume will carry over and make it so that race day i don't die but i appreciate you guys liking make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment below what video you guys want to see next i appreciate all the feedback i've been getting on the videos guys the community is very positive i love that that's what this whole channel is about is obviously not being average at whatever role you have in life and then at the same time building everybody up around them no judgment whether you're a crossfitter a bodybuilder a golfer a marathon runner a cross country runner, I don't care what it is. This channel is all about building up everybody else and trying to be the best versions of ourselves. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys, like I said, 
Subscribe to the channel so you guys know what videos are coming next. Follow me on Instagram so you guys know what I'm doing daily because I post a lot more on that channel. And then you guys know the motto. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, just don't be average. Catch you guys next time.